We are headed to Southern California. We're coming from Northern California, but we made a pit stop at Tesla Kettleman. And so this means that we are essentially full. My max charge is about 260 miles. Now I'm not gonna be hypermiling, really chasing that max range today because we got somewhere to be. I'm gonna be driving at a consistent 70 to 75 miles per hour and our trip is about 200 miles. So it'll take about three hours to get there. I'll update you on any weird abnormalities, abnormalities, Ad, what's the word? Ab, abnormalities. Ab Anomalies. Anom uh, I'm going. <laughs> okay. I'm. I'm going to update you guys on any anomalies that happen here. We can see that once we get to the mountain area, there's a bunch of ups and downs. So there should be times where we lose a lot of range and sometimes where we gain a lot of range back. I'm super excited to see how this looks. Again, we just came from Tesla Superchargers Kettleman City and we're going to Long Beach, California, if you know where that is. I'll put like the route right, right here on the side of the screen. So you can look at that. It's like 200 miles, take us about three hours. Let's flip and do this and see what range we get when we get there. All right guys, so a little bit of an update for you. We're making a Fiat stop right here around Rodeo, so Lauderdale. It's like south of Hawthorne, California, if you know where that is. If you don't, it's basically long before Long Beach. Not too long, but still a significant amount. And we're still gonna reach there with 16%. So we have a few backup chargers on the way. We're not stressing, cause I mean, range anxiety, does that really exist? It doesn't. There's no such thing as range anxiety, cause there's like literally chargers everywhere. Like, check this out guys. If I tap that everywhere, don't even gotta stress. So we should get here at 816. Look how beautiful it is out there guys my gosh it's only gonna get more beautiful when we go up to the mountains also the bears are super cool uh nidus crochet actually makes them she hands makes them in the usa and you know we all about that american pride up in here so if you want to support her i'll have her instagram in the description below you can message her these bears are awesome they're huge and they're customizable but back to the trip so we're gonna get there at around 15 percent but this keeps fluctuating up and down. Overall, our usage so far has been pretty good. We've stayed at a consistent 75 miles. The traffic is non-existent right now, which is super nice. So for our trip, we've used about three miles more and we should have stayed below 70%. The wind is pushing us, it's helping us. It is going this way and we are also going that way. Looking at our rated range, we've consumed so much. Actually, we've consumed 20 miles off of our battery pack. And if we look at the stats right here, we can see we've been driving for about an hour. We have 75 miles used and we have a watt hours per mile of 200. In 69. Now I just want to be clear, I'm riding super heavy right now. I got a lot of gear in the back, mostly in the sub trunk, so that is weighing me down quite a bit. With that in mind, I'll update you on the next checkpoint. And one more quick update guys, I literally just turned on the AC, the cabin temperature. I set it at 73 degrees. Before I turned it on, I looked at the climate on my phone from the app. It said the cabin was about 74. I wanted it just slightly cooler, so we're putting it at 73. Uh, between 70 and 73 is where we'll keep it at. I'm putting it on high, and that's so just the fans can blow more. I mainly just want airflow. Airflow is gonna help cool, so my thought is use more of the fan, less of the cooling, so it would be better for the range. And it's on recirculation because we are driving through some dusty terrain, dusty, smoky because of California fires, but we out here. Status update, this road is so bumpy. <laughs> but look, the mountains, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love driving through here every single time. I love it so much. Going up, coming down, it's always so beautiful, especially when we get in there. I mean, look at that, guys. It is so, so beautiful. That's a truck. They're so, so beautiful. I just, I can't get over all of like the, the curves and everything that's about the mountain. Gosh, I love the texture. Pretty much all I wanted to say, uh, other than if we check this, well, our new range prediction when we get there is 12%. Uh, if we look at this, oh boy, are we dropping off, check that out if we, that's the rated if we look at the trip oh man we're still doing okay but that's just because it's projecting that we are going to drop so we're going to drop a whole lot more than this on our rated you can check that dip out we're probably going to lose a whole lot more range oh yeah this is an incline right here guys right here all of this we are going <laughs> uphill and if you check that out over there it gets even more inclined so if you also look at my uh energy usage check that out that gray bar on the side, you can see it's really going heavy to get up this mountain. So right now 
we're on the grapevine if you know where that is we are expending a lot of battery side note it is super sunny and super hot but the mountains provide excellent shade especially if the sun is either rising or if it's setting so we're chilling my ears need to pop though because of the elevation change oh yeah we're good a little status update so now that we're mostly going downhill if you check that out that green bar right there if we look at our chart right here should be gaining a little bit of energy back uh i don't know if it's going to make a difference on the screen but if we go to the drive you'll see this i'm not too familiar with how consumption works i think that's like acceleration deceleration all that stuff if we go to rated you can see we're doing a little bit better but yeah uh we lost a whole lot of range. I usually just look at the uh, the trip, but the rated is like the miles, the actual miles. This is just what it calculates based on all the conditions it can see. Okay, so we rerouted one more time. Last time, I promise. And I hope it didn't reset the maps. Oh, it did. But nothing really happened since we last checked in. So we're going to the Santa Monica Boulevard Superchargers. And that's just because it's not terribly far out of our way and we can just take the one highway going down and i was told by my friend that they look nice so we're gonna go to the pretty chargers and see how good they are from there we'll head to long beach and make sure to check out these zero runs and super 73 e-bikes that's the event we're going to it's gonna be so fun so cool so make sure you stay subscribed for that hey guys so we made it with 58 miles that's going to be 20 two percent if we look at our past trip we did pretty good and that's mostly from driving in the city our rated is pretty bad but that's because we were going through a bunch of mountains and we used a ton of mileage so 202 miles consumed we have 58 miles that means we pretty much got the entire 260 miles of my battery pack superiority to tesla tesla wins on this one i got the full rated range if you want to see more range videos make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more charging stuff a little bit of ps we have 40 minutes remaining and we're getting 145 kilowatts almost 200 so tons of miles per hour i'm charging to 100 percent but you don't need to if we went to 80 so fast charge it would only take 25 minutes guys and there's restrooms snacks you got everything up in here it's a whole tesla lounge